Hi and welcome. I am Erica Giedrich. I am one of the kindergarten teachers here at St. John the Evangelist and I'd like to welcome you to our kindergarten orientation. So welcome and congratulations on choosing St. John the Evangelist for your child. Um, we're really excited to have you here and I can't wait to meet you guys in August. So our mission statement to learn, live, and love as Jesus taught us. It's something that we will be stressing throughout the school year and through all of our curriculum um, weekly, daily, um, here at SJE. So here are a couple of important people that you'll want to know and some names. Our new principal that will be joining us, we're very lucky and fortunate to have Mrs. Fredrickson. Um, myself, of course, um, uh, Mrs. Giegrich. Uh, we will be having another kindergarten teacher on staff. Um, to be continued, <laughs> we'll let you know who that is at a later time. Um, Mrs. Boswell has been with us a few years. She is wonderful. The kids absolutely can't get enough of her. And then of course, we are gonna have another aide for the other classroom. So again, um, we'll let you know about that as soon as um, we have some names for you. But in the office, you'll also wanna know Mrs. Cooper um, and, Angie, and Angie Buchanan. Those are two women that you'll wanna be communicating with. Um, and my next slide, you'll wanna talk to them when it comes to um, RedWeb. Um, and uh, slash facts, that is something that is gonna be used to um, check grades. And we, as kind of, for kindergarten, we don't submit grades out all the time weekly, but this is gonna be where you're gonna get some um, information with emails and um, important dates. I mean, you can go to the school website, of course, as well, but you wanna register for this as soon as possible. You probably did if you were already a current preschool parent, but please make sure that you do communicate with Sue or Angie as soon as possible to get signed up. Um, school Reach is a text that will go out to give you a, any current events that are happening, if we have an out of uniform day, if there is a big event happening and you need to know about it, you're gonna get a text about it. School cancellations, of course, or delays, those are also big things that will be through School Reach. Um, the school website, my email, so if you have any questions, and even after this orientation, if you have something that you thought about later or something was brought up and you thought, hey, I, I need to, I want, I didn't hear the answer to that um, in this, then please feel free to email me. Um, Zooming has been something that we've done this year, especially with the learners. Phone calls, of course, if there's any way I need to talk to you immediately, I'm gonna give you a call, or if there is something that needs to be discussed further as far as classroom management issues go, and uh, weekly updates. I will make sure that you get one of those every week with uh, skills that are being practiced, things that you need to do at home, uh, stories that we're reading and covering, um, topics in religion, and so forth. So you'll be getting those on a weekly basis. Um, our uniforms, we do follow the uniform. Uh, K through five is, um, you'll have to look in the handbook, of course, to see um, all the regulations. I won't go over every single one of those right now. Um, and then middle school, uh, six through eight has another uh, uniform to follow. But I will let you know though, as far as shoes go, one big one that I like to mention to everyone is wear a solid colored shoe that is either a gym shoe or um, it, could be, it could be tied as well, Velcro. Um, but we, for gym class, we don't change a uniform. So go ahead and wear those gym shoes. You can wear them every day if you'd like to, but they need to be a solid white, black, blue, or even brown um, to go for the uniform. So please make sure you check the handbook and make sure that you follow all of those um, that follow, it says grades one through five, but it's, we follow one through five, that's in the handbook. Okay, um, if you plan on taking the bus to school, please give the this number a call, 219-365-3141. If you are um, on their route, they will let you know. Um, if you are able to, if you wanna to decide to be on the bus, you must register though before the start of the school year. So please make sure you give that number a call as soon as possible so you can get your child signed up to get picked up. You will go to that bus stop. They will pick you up, drop you off. They'll let you know if there is um, uh, any other stops. We've had buses with that transfer at times, but um, that could all change. So please just make sure you call if you plan to have a bus rider. Um, if you do have a bus rider, make sure of course that you notify us before school as well. We'll need to know that for the first day of school and we make sure that they get to the bus stop. If they have an older sibling, we'll make sure they get to that sibling. And um, if they don't have a sibling, we'll find them a bus buddy. And there's always a teacher that is down there and making sure that the kids get onto the bus when that bus arrives. And 
So we, we will make sure that they get there um, and get there safely. So um, uh, our aides are typically walking them down there and as I'm taking out the car riders to the parking lot, um, but please make sure you mark the bus number on their bag. That's something just to have peace of mind for them and in case they forget one day or they're down there and the teacher's asking what, what, what number are we looking for, we even give out tags that first week or two anyways, but just to um, have a little peace of mind with that. So our dismissal duty um, at the end of the day, um, I will make sure every day that I'm walking the kids out to the front parking lot. So please make sure for um, your safety as well as make sure your cars are all facing School Street. They'll all be, you, you kind of loop around and make a U, you come in facing the school and then you come and park facing School Street. So it's an easy way to get out. Um, the children have to stay on the sidewalk. I make sure that they always let me know, hey, this is mom, this is dad. I wanna make sure that I get to see you and I get to know your faces. So please make sure that your child, if they did run off, um, I usually have them all right next to me, but we want them to, feed, to know that there is a certain procedure that needs to be followed. So um, again, please make sure you uh, are notifying when you come in for a supply drop off, I'm gonna be asking you that information right away. So I need to know car rider, are they going to Oasis after school care um, or if they're on the bus and I'll need to know that bus number. Okay, we wanna make sure everyone gets home safely and picked up safely. Okay, so you are your child's primary educator. Um, you have done an amazing job and we wanna make sure that you are continuing to do that also with their faith. So please make sure that you are praying daily. You are praying before meals, before bed, um, we are doing it here as a school. We do it um, over the intercom. We pray before our meals, before snack time. We do it during religion every day. So take that time and share that time with your son or daughter. And um, maybe it'll be a good refresher for you if you've forgotten some of your prayers as well. But it's a great habit to get into and just to remember to thank God every day for everything that we've been given. Um, if we are hopefully able to go back and to attend mass as a school, um, uh, every Friday we do attend and we would typically have an eighth grade buddy that would go with the students, but with COVID protocols, we have no idea what's gonna be happening next year. This year we were unfortunate, we didn't get to do that, but we did live stream every Friday. So the kids were attending mass and we ask that if you are able to go to mass, please take them, please have good mass habits, have them kneeling, have them with prayer hands, um, no snacks, um, no games during mass. You know, you want them to feel like they're engaging and, and listening to what's happening during during the mass. So let's get into those good habits and so we have good behavior. So when they do go to first grade later on, you know, those appropriate church behaviors, those are already set in place. Um, so, um, so a couple things just to practice, even the summer, sign of the cross and um, Hail Mary, our Father, glory be, um, angel of God and your mealtime for the blessed soul Lord. Okay, so we are asking that you are reading with your child every night. I bet some of you, almost all of you, are doing it anyways. So we have a special program called Accelerated Reader. It is mostly for comprehension. Um, some kids are coming in reading um, at a small level and by the end of the year they're reading books on their own, which is great. But how well are they comprehending all of that information that's coming in? So please allow your child to retell stories to you. Ask them questions as you're reading a, a story and maybe at the end of the story as well. So take that time to do that. And when we do start to pull them and take quizzes for AR, um, which I'll explain more at the beginning of the school year, um, how that works, but um, get into those good habits over the summer and see how well they can retell and talk back to you. And we don't expect them to read coming in. I don't expect that at all, but how well do they remember everything that you read to them? Okay, we're in a preschool. So that means checking the labels on everything that you're eating. So please get into those good habits right now. So anything that has also been handled in a factory that may have had nuts in the factory, everything, all those items cannot come into school. So even if it doesn't say it has nuts in it, it's nut free. Just make sure you're looking to see was it handled somewhere that had any type of, any type of nuts, tree nuts, uh, peanuts, um, cashews, anything. So please just get into those good habits. Um, we don't obviously share food in class, but um, during this year also we've had a lot of restrictions with bringing in any food or any outside snacks as well. 
So hopefully if we do get back to that and are able to bring in some treats here and there once in a while, again, birthday things like that, everything has to be nut free. And we do eat lunch in the classrooms, which is coming up next year. So um, we are, we participate, um, not participate, but we're able to order from Lake Central Schools as well. So this year it was nice. We had a special program where lunches were, um, they were given if we ordered and they were at no cost. Now that may not be happening next year, but it is a great option in case, you know, you forgot a lunch, you just didn't have time. So every child does have a, a, a card that they're given. So you can put money onto that account. You don't have to order lunch. You can just order milk. So next year, again, we're going to reevaluate and see how um, ordering lunch goes. In the past, kindergarten has only ordered milk and everyone has to just bring in their own lunches. So think of, think about it, you know, if that's something that you'd want to do. So at the beginning of the year, you might say, Hey, Mrs. G, I have a envelope for you with, you know, $10 in it. Please put it on their account to order milk whenever they would like to. Because we do get a lot of times where we ask kids who wants milk today and hands are flying. So <laughs> nobody has been given permission to order the milk and then parents later on have a, 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 a large balance <laughs> that it has to be paid off. So please let us know if you'd like them to order milk and if they are giving you're giving them the okay and the thumbs up and we will allow them to do that. But again, we'll, I'll relay messages back to you about how that's going to go for next year once it gets closer. Okay, classroom dojo. This is how we um, handle classroom management. So class dojo is awesome. It's an app that I can hit and let you know, hey, gosh, the class today, they did an awesome job journaling. My goodness, we were on task. Music class, thumbs up. Everyone gets a point. Our goal for the end of the week is to get 10 points. Now, throughout the week, of course, nobody's perfect. We're all going to make mistakes. So there are points that get taken away. If we're talking out of turn, if we are, you know, with our mask this year, we've had some kids that are just, they just don't want to wear those things ever. Well, reminders, <laughs> reminders, put the mask back on. So points have been taken off for constantly talking without a mask on. Um, we have kids running in the halls, we, you know, kids are kids. So we're going to make mistakes. So we're trying to have those consequences quickly. Just say, okay, points are taken away. They don't earn those 10 points. They don't get their special treat at the end of the week just something small that they earned, but they get to see their points accumulate throughout the week. And again, they'll see them taken away as well. So, you know, everyone wants to get that special, that special snack at the end of the week on Friday. So um, this is just a, a, an instant way for you to also receive those messages. Um, I will also attach messages. If there was something more specific, I wanted to let you know why things were taken away. Some of them are just very simple. Um, you know, wasn't sitting in the chair correctly, fooling around in the bathroom. So you can assume what you'll know exactly what happened, but an extra note's not necessary. Um, and typically I'm not just going to take away a point just because they did it once. I always am going to give everyone a second chance. It's a lot of times a third chance, <laughs> but I want them to fix their mistakes. So um, messaging is available on there. So you can write me a message back. I also like to post some fun pictures or stories or videos of the kids on there. So there's a lot of great things that are happening on this app. So again, that will come home to you at the beginning of the school year and I want you guys to sign up for it right away so you are seeing all the cool things that we're doing throughout the day. Okay, um, so this is just a little overview of our everyday curriculum. So reading, math, phonics, um, science, religion, social studies, handwriting, that's all. That every day, every day we are hitting all of those things. Um, science and social studies do flip-flop um, each day. Um, we have computer, gym, music, Spanish, and um, uh, library is is once in a while as well. Um, all these ha have come to the room this year, even with COVID happening. It's awesome. The teachers have been great about coming to us, and the kids have been wonderful about their participation in all these different ways, even though they're stuck, you know, in their desks. And the, the special teachers have done a fabulous job with getting them interacting with um, on the boards and doing things at their seats, getting up and moving around. Gym though is in the gym, but um, yeah, it is a very full day. We don't give them time to sit and think too much about what's going on. By the time they leave, they have accomplished so many things and you know, they're ready to take a break when they get home. They're pretty tired. So um, it is a busy day, but it is an awesome and very fulfilling day as well. All right, so we have a supply drop off 
and that is going to be the day right before the first day of school. So here in our MEC, we like to call it our Mobile Education Center, um, we will have you just ring the doorbell, meet, and I will meet you outside. I'll grab your things, and again, um, due to COVID, um, this past year, um, supplies had to be just dropped off. I would grab things, and I just set up everything at each individual child's desk. So we'll see what this year brings. But um, please make sure that you write down these times and please come during one of those um, designated times just to drop things off. Like I said, it's just a quick drop off. And then this way on the first day, they're not carrying everything in. Everything's already ready to go. We come in and then I can just focus right away on getting the kids comfortable, getting them acclimated with you know how things are gonna be working here every day. And I want them to just feel like this is their, this is their home, away from home. So um, we don't wanna mess around with all the supplies on that first day. So if you can come please and have everything marked and labeled so I can just boom, 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 put everything away where it needs to go. And then that way I've got more time with your kids um, on that very first day. And I want them to feel comfortable, like I said, and have that first day experience. Okay, so thank you. Thank you so much for being here and to listening <laughs> to everything. Um, I hope I've answered all your questions and any concerns that you may have. Um, like I said, if there's anything that you thought of through the video that maybe you thought, oh, I didn't need to, she didn't elaborate enough. So um, email me, again, it was egegrich, so E-G-I-E-G-E-R-I-C-H at stjohnparish.org. And you don't have to call me Mrs. Gigrick, you can call me Mrs. G, a little easier to say. But again, we're all on this together, so um, I hope to have all of your support throughout the school year, and I will be communicating with you whenever needed, and we're gonna have a great year, guys. All right, thanks so much for coming, bye.